Surely there are many things you have been doing with your cat without knowing that he does not like them as much as you do, but do not worry because today you will discover them. So, you're in the right place. Number 1. Caressing their bellies. You should not forget that a cat is not like a dog, and that applies to everything, including the way they like to be caressed. The abdominal area is very vulnerable for a cat, because when they get on their stomachs they are completely exposed and harmless to any aggression. That is why few cats allow this part of the body to be touched and they will only do so with someone they fully trust. The mistake is that many owners interpret that the cat is put on the belly to be touched, but in reality, it is the opposite. This posture usually manifests relaxation or desire to play, so touching it in this position could result in a bite or a scratch. So, if you want to try, you know what you're risking. Number 2. Playing with lasers. This is perhaps one of the best-known game methods with cats, but it is also one of the worst we can do with them. I won't deny that they look funny chasing the red dot of a laser and that's why it seems that they enjoy doing it, but the reality is that they don't. Every cat loves to ambush and follow objects or animals, but something they love more is catching them, and that's something they can't do with a spot of light. The laser is impossible to grasp because it is not something tangible, which generates a huge frustration in cats when playing in this way since they cannot touch that which they have been stalking so much. The worst thing is that this frustration manifests itself with stress and anxiety in our cat, and the least you want for your cat is to be stressed at home since that will cause behavioral disorders that will stress you more. But if that's not enough, laser play can cause retinal damage and accidents at home due to the overexcitation that animals get into when they see a point of color in motion. Number 3. Get them to know the world. You may be thinking that this point is absurd or contradictory, as it is well known that cats love to go out and explore the world, even at night. You are right. Cats are curious animals, but for a domestic feline who has all his needs covered, going out in the street only causes him stress and confusion, because if he does not look for it on his own it is because he does not like or interested in doing it. We've all heard of a cat being taken out for a walk on his harness and leash, or we've seen cats walking around like dogs. However, in order to do it well we would have to get him used to it as a child and expose it little by little to the stimuli that are out there, such as the noise of people, cars, animals, machines, and a thousand other things. Otherwise, we would have a lot of problems and subject the cat to a very high stress that is not worth it. By the way let me tell you that I do not recommend at all the use of backpacks carrying cats, but for now I will not delve into that issue. Number 4. Lock them up. And the same applies to tie them up. I understand that you are afraid that your cat will run away from home, but there is something that perhaps you ignore, depriving them of their freedom is worse. Do not forget that cats are felines, and any feline needs other activities that stimulate their physical and mental development and their wild side. Things that they cannot do if they live confined are either in spaces that are too small, such as cages or carriers, or even if you never leave the same room or apartment. But if this is not enough, let me tell you that keeping your cat locked up will generate multiple behavioral disorders such as scratching the furniture, biting the cables, throwing your things, scratching yourself, not letting himself be caressed and many more things. So, you better not take away his freedom because no one likes to be locked up. Number 5. Hugging them. Before someone comments that his cat does like hugs, I clarify that there are very few animals who like, because it is normal not to tolerate it. I understand that we, as humans, like this way of showing affection, but animals have other ways to do it. Contrary to our case, they can interpret hugs as a threat, since they feel cornered and invaded, which can lead them to respond in a negative way, giving you kicks, scratches, or even bites. If you want to show him love, you can do it by stroking his chin, scratching his ears, buying his favorite prizes, or the food he likes the most. Number 6. Cut off his claws. 
there is a very cruel act called declawing, which consists of removing the nails completely. This practice is nothing more than pure abuse, and in fact it is already illegal, since you must never amputate any limb of an animal, whether it be claws, fangs, or any other part of its body. If you're looking for a totally harmless animal, you better get a stuffed animal. But I know that among the people who see me there is no one who reaches these extremes. On the other hand, trimming off the tip of the claw of your cat may be necessary if the veterinarian tells you, otherwise you should not do it on your own since it is not mandatory for their well-being, because with sharp nails they climb trees and defend themselves from possible enemies. Whether it's necessary or not will depend on the lifestyle your partner is leading. Number 7. Put Bell on Them it is important to know that these objects are extremely uncomfortable for our cats, it is normal to see them trying to remove them in any way, even biting them to avoid their sound. The reason is simple and easy to understand, the constant sound of the bell is very stressful for them and also distracts them too much, so it does not allow them to be alert, which is something necessary for a cat. It could also cause significant damage to the animal's ear, as the daily clinking of the animal's ear can not only affect the animal's hearing, but also cause chronic discomfort. Remember that our cats are very independent pets and by nature they are stealthy and quiet, so avoid removing these features with an accessory. Number 8. Play with yarn. Like the laser, a ball of yarn or a yarn reel are two of the most common toys that a cat is usually associated with a cat. You can let them do it as long as you are watching them since in case of ingesting even a little, they can drown or they can suffer from intestinal obstruction or even internal bleeding by the fine cutting of the thread inside their body. So, if you let him play with threads, Please be very careful as a moment of fun can cruelly end your partner's life or cause him very intense and unbearable pain. Number 9. Giving them sweet food or too sugar. You should know that a cat's sense of taste works very differently than the human one, so you can't expect them to like the same things you do. Haven't you seen him eat spiders, lizards or insects? Why do you think he likes it and you don't? Exactly because our senses work differently. In the particular case of sweet foods, perhaps you didn't know that cats are not adapted to capture that flavor, but more importantly, they are likely to suffer a deterioration in their health if they consume too much sugar, so better control the sugar you give them. Number 10. Hit him. You should never hit an animal when you are trying to educate it, it is one of the worst mistakes you can make, because violence only generates worse behavior in animals since they become riskier, they are afraid of you, they do not trust you, they go away and end up losing your affection. Also, if you hit your cat, then, who's the animal? I invite you to subscribe for more videos like this, you can also follow our networks for more content. Let's keep the Gary's Legend alive.